Okay, so uh, a, a question on obsessional thinking, where does it come from, what you can do about it? Um, I would say, actually, one of the, the, the big, uh, as I understand it from my understanding with Hawkins, one of the big underpinnings of um, obsessional thinking is actually having huge amounts of repressed feeling, tons of repressed feeling. And they t kind of go together, like extremely fast thinking and lots of feelings that you haven't felt. Remember that very fast thinking is a form of repressing one's feelings. You know, because if I just think at 100 miles an hour, it is a resistance to allowing any repressed feelings to be released. But really, if there's a obsessional thinking, um, one of the core things I would do um, uh, is, well, I would intuit, I would know that I've got tons of repressed feelings I've probably been using for years. And there's, uh, you know, hours and hours of repressed shame, guilt, fear, and anger under the hood. So doing something like uh, feeling the feelings will be like, you know, <clears throat> let's say, let, let's make it simple. Like, let's say I've got 500 hours of repressed feelings that I've not felt out. Uh, and, you know, that because I've been using all my life on donuts, alcohol and drugs. You know, there's all this stuff, you know, and I've been thinking 100 miles an hour and watching Netflix 100 miles an hour. So, and my, and my thinking is now going at 100 miles an hour. is obsessional about everything that I do. You know, I wake up with obsessive thinking, I go to bed with obsessive thinking. So just to do the practices that we, I, I've, I've done, I'm drawing the videos in the group, you know, sitting with feelings and letting go of thoughts and just letting this feelings that you haven't felt uh, go will also have a huge underpinning on slowing down the rapidity of, uh, of those obsessional thoughts. That's one of the main things I'd say. I, I know that there's a lot of things I haven't felt and just practicing feeling the feelings would be a big thing. Um, also the tools that, that I go, uh, the observer, being, uh, being the observer of the passing thoughts, the rapidly, rapidly passing thoughts, um, you know, also just practicing the others. Are there, is there a feeling, is there a sense of the body, is there a feeling, is there lots of thoughts? What's observing the whole lot? You know, what's observing the, the feelings in the body, the stories? So practicing the observer, doing feel the feelings, doing the Course in Miracles, um, all of those things, doing the lessons in the Course in Miracles uh, day by day and hammering at the lessons will also re reduce some of the core uh, thoughts that underpin the obsessional thinking, you know, the ideas that nothing outside of you can fix you, all your thoughts are meaningless. Um, you know, every single thought is meaningless. That's a great thought. I mean, I would paraphrase that as like all your meanings, all your thinking is rubbish. Don't bother listening to any of it. Um, so. Um, yeah, so those are the things, just the key things. Obsessional th thinking means that you're at the bottom of the scale, so it just means like keep, keep working at it. You know, as you go up, as you release more and more feelings and do more and more observer, the, f the thoughts get <clears throat> less obsessional, they become quieter and quieter mm. as you get more and more, and you become more and more present and more and more happy. Mm. Okay.